Hi, my name is Hong. I'm an orthoptist and today I'll be conducting the Maddox Rod Test. The Maddox Rod Test can be used to subjectively measure a latent or manifest horizontal, vertical or torsional strabismus for distance and near fixation. The test is based on the principle of diplopic projection. Dissociation of the deviation is brought about by presenting a red line image to one eye and a white light to the other. Light prisms are used to superimpose these and effectively measure the angle of deviation. Equipments required in Maddox rod testing are a Maddox rod, a light source for near and distance, base in, base out, base up, base down prisms. Note, during testing, the room should be dimmed, however, due to the circumstances, the light will be on. Uh, my name is Hoon, I'm your adopters today. Nice to meet you, I'm here. Yep. Um, today I'll be conducting an eye examination on you to test if you have single or double vision. Yep, so just please take a seat right there. Uh, so Emma, uh, where is the light in regards to the vertical red line? It's on the right. On the right? Yep. yep so to measure the horizontal deviation, the Maddox rod is placed in front of the right eye with the cylinders horizontal. Therefore, the red line will now be vertical. The patient is asked whether the white light is superimposed on the red line or if it is to the left or to the right of the red line. In this case, the patient has an exo deviation across diplopia in which base imprisms are used to correct the deviation as the patient saw a red line to the right and a white light to the left side. Note, for iso deviations, the patient would see the red line to the left and a white light to the right side and base out prisms are used to correct the deviation. So now I'll be introducing you to this prism. I'm just going to put it against your right eye. Yep. So tell me when the light goes over the vertical line. Yep. Yes, so I'll just be starting right now. Is it getting closer? Yes. Yep. Yeah? Yep, it's on the line. Yes, yeah, so the light is on top of the vertical line. Yep. Vertical red line, yeah. Okay. Eight dye of the basin prisms was used to correct this deviation. Okay, so now I'll be putting it in an opposite direction. So I'm just going to repeat the procedure. So do you see the light? Yes. Yeah. And do you see a red line? Yeah. Is it vertical or horizontal? Horizontal. Horizontal. And where is the light in regards to the red line? It's on the red line. On the line? So, so spot on on the line? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's to measure the vertical deviation at near, the patient is asked to hold the Maddox rod in front of the right eye with the cylinders vertical. Therefore, the red line will now be horizontal. The patient is asked whether the white light is superimposed on the red line or if it is above or below the red line. In this case, the patient has indicated that the white light is superimposed on the red line, meaning that they have no vertical deviations. So now I'll be conducting this test again but in distance. Yeah, so I'm just going to be turning on the light. So where is the light in regards to the vertical red line? On the right? Yep. Who knows? Okay, so now I'm putting the prisms against your right eye again. And tell me when the light goes over the red line. Yeah. Um, is it getting closer? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, right now? Yeah. So the light is over the... It's on the line. Yep, yeah, okay. So now I'll be changing the side into the opposite direction. So first of all, do you see the light yes. and the red line? Yeah. Is the light on top of the red line or above or below? It's on, on, top. on top of it. So right on top of the red line. Yeah. Yeah. Good. A 12 diopter basin prisms were used to correct the horizontal deviation and there was no vertical deviation present. Okay, so based on your results, it looks like you have your right eye turned outwards, uh, just slightly though. Yeah which is okay. It might be a bit worse in the distance, but only a bit. Advantages of the Maddox rod test. It is easily performed. It is a simple and fast technique. It can be used to measure torsional and cyclo deviations. It can be used on children. Some of the disadvantages of the Maddox rod test are, it cannot be performed if there are sensory anomalies present. It cannot be performed if a patient has suppression as they will not be able to see the light. It cannot be performed if there is ARC as the angle of separation of the images will not correspond to the angle of deviation, leading to inaccurate results. It cannot differentiate between tropius and phoreas. 
It can only be done subjectively. So thanks for coming in today and I'll hopefully see you soon. Okay, so that's how you conduct the Maddox Rod Test and hopefully this was informative. So thanks for watching. See you later.